Hey everyone, this video is kind of a request. Um, it's basically how to make the diamond, which was in my review video, using Zen Magnets. These I got for about $25 at ZenMagnets.com. And to do this, you need actually more than one set. This actually takes 231 Zen Magnets. The cube comes with 216, and if you got some other brand that only comes with one cube, a 6x6 cube, you only have 213. That's so why I have two sets, and I can make the diamond, but if you don't, then you can't make this yet. To make it, you just need a few shapes. Here, I'll show you each. You're going to need one of these, which is... Well, actually, you need two of these, but I'm going to show you to make it, so I made one copy of each already. You need, um... And it has five on one side and two on the other. And it's almost like a triangle. Then you have the same thing but with six and two. And then the same thing but with five and three. To make them, it's really easy. Just get yourself some magnets in a line. And start with six magnets like that. And you just roll it up until you have a good, like, hexagon with three side, uh, three length sides. Then, to make, uh, I'll show you this one first. The 5-2 one, you just put two on the tip, any side. Then you put two, you skip one side, you put it on the next one like that. And then you do the same thing, you skip one more side, put two on the last one. And then you just fill in the hole with a random one. So like that. And next is this one. This one is the 6x2 one. To make this, it's the same thing. You start out with a hexagon. You roll it till it's all sides three. You do the same thing where you put two on each and skip one. Just now what you want to do is you want to take this sorry, little string right here and put it right in between one of the two sides. Just like hold on. Just a little bit. Okay. Just like this. And you just make it go down once and cover it till it's two again. That'll get you a six. Now, what I'm saying might sound a little complicated, but honestly, if you just play with these, you'll be able to find out these shapes anyway. The last shape is the five three one. This one's probably the most difficult. You kind of have to like mess with it to figure it out. It's easiest if you do start once again with the same hexagon. Start with your hexagon. Roll it so you have a three three one. Then what you want to do is you want to build up an entire side like that. The next side like that. Now you have a four three one. So you want to kind of combine the two methods. Put it on top like this. I actually need a few more. So let me just grab a few. So then you want to just roll it down and cover the top. And there you go. And fill in the one in the middle. Now, we're only missing one more shape. But this one is the easiest, so I don't even really consider it hard to do. You just make a hexagon. All sides are four. So, get them going. So once again, start with six. This time you just roll it until you get hexagon this big. You break it off and put one in the middle. There we go, just like that. Now we have every shape we need. Just these. 
And the only thing you do need after that is six more magnets. I normally just go like this, take six magnets, keep them a little thingy, and put it off to the side. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to start with your four length hexagon and take one of the five, three triangles. You want to combine the two. I'll try and zoom in a little bit. Combine the two just like this, where you stack it so the four, the three crisscross. If it doesn't crisscross and does what mine just did, just flip over one of the shapes. And when it crisscrosses, just lay it flat and it should lay itself fine, just like this. Then you take your other 5, 3, 1. You lay this one the opposite. See how mine goes? Uh, four, 4, 5. So I'd have to uh, place this one with the 3 on top. So 3 right here. And just stack it. I actually screwed that one up. That should be up one. Just like that. You can see it starts to get like a little zigzaggy kind of thing. Next, you take your 6, 2, 1s. And stack them the same way where you match the 2 over a 3. Like that. And flip it over. And do the same thing. Now you almost have a diamond, you just need one more layer on each. You should take this one and just match it up with the 6. Just like that. And drop it down. And it'll look a little weird, but you'll fix that in a second. And do the same with the other side. Okay. Now you have a diamond. You're just missing the tips. That's why we have this. Alright, so you take your six magnets. Just put them on the tips. That's it. So, it's going to go... Put one magnet on every tip. And there you have a diamond. This is the strongest possible like um, shape you could possibly make out of these magnets because of the way it's shaped and crisscrossed and everything. Um, like I could show you right now, if I try and squeeze it like this, like completely sideways, it's actually really hard. The only way you can really break it is if you push it at an angle. Um, but yeah, you do need 231 magnets to do this, so if you just bought a cube, you can't. Um, it is a very cool thing, though. Just It looks really nice, you know, to look at. It's kind of like your show-offy thing. It's better than a cube, let me tell you that. Um... And that's pretty much it for the video. I'll have a bunch more on these. This one was just kind of a request from uh, someone who left a comment on my last video. So, hope you enjoy it.